Hi, and welcome to the weekly Oregon Legislature Roundup here at KGW. I'm Hannah Mersbach. Oregon lawmakers just wrapped up their second week of the 35-day short session, where it became a little bit more clear which bills will advance this year. Also, an optimistic state revenue forecast and controversies over overtime pay for farm workers. Let's dive in. First, the money. This week's revenue forecast showed lawmakers have an extra $800 million to spend this session. Economists said this is because both corporate and personal income taxes are surging. In short, Oregonians are making more income with higher wages, but economists say this is partly due to inflation, meaning people's money doesn't go as far. A total of $2.7 billion is now available to lawmakers to spend this session, though a large portion of this will go to state reserves in case of another economic downturn. Republicans called for investments in law enforcement, crackdowns on illegal marijuana, and thinning to prevent wildfires. Meanwhile, Democrats called for more money for schools, job training, housing, and mental health services. Also this week, an important deadline for pending legislation. Bills in most committees had to be scheduled for a work session by Monday this week, or they would not move forward this session. Among the bills that made the cut, a measure to make childcare more affordable for families. $100 million would go towards initiatives like grants for childcare providers and incentives for workers to stay in the workplace. Other bills that move forward include a policy to distribute air conditioners to low-income households, one to help families with unpaid rent and other expenses, and another to limit police and traffic stops. And on the Senate floor Thursday, lawmakers voted in favor of a bill to protect superintendents from being fired. Bills that died this week include many Republican-led initiatives. They include a bill that could have limited the governor's authority and one that would require school districts to post all curriculum online. Another bill that died this week, a Democrat-led proposal to tax luxury goods like high-end cars, guns, and jewelry. This would have funded monthly payments for former foster youth and low-income pregnant women. The bill died amid opposition to sales tax in Oregon, but we should expect to see more bills like this in future sessions. Another controversial bill would give agricultural workers overtime pay. Oregonians proved divided over this issue in an over three-hour public hearing on Tuesday. Advocates and farm workers say this is long overdue, as these workers have been excluded from earning overtime pay for eight decades. Oregon would follow California and Washington in phasing this policy in gradually, and the state would give tax credits to employers to offset the additional costs. But Republicans and farm owners say this isn't enough. They have come out in full force against the bill, saying it will hurt small businesses and result in workers' hours being cut. On Monday, a committee will continue discussing the bill in a work session, where they could vote to move it to the House floor. This coming Monday is also the last day for lawmakers to move bills out of most committees. Bills will then move to floor votes, and if passed, head to the other chamber for consideration. We'll keep you updated on the news you need to know. I'm Hannah Mersbach with KGW. See you next week.